guys to kind of regain focus after they've like, had a first quarter? Yeah. Uh, like you said it, just split focus. On, uh, playing the right way on both hands. Just can, uh, keep our urgency, uh, keep our physicality, and offensively, just uh, stay aggressive. You know, really, man. We're kind of starting to settle a little bit. Uh, and uh, we weren't the aggressor anymore, so just had to refocus. What's your uh, best night in your pitch? Yeah, I think that. I mean, it's, uh, it's changing every game, of course. Uh, having an impact every night. And, uh, and now that we have, you know, uh, Cat injured, he's able to, uh, to, to. Even though Cat is a unique player, he's now he's still able to kind of like take advantage of, of that and really impact, you know, impact every game for us, you know, and dominate. So to me, that's what Six Man does. You know, it gives you that. The extra boost, the extra lift, and uh, and that is a win for a year. Uh, so, you know. The way, the way that Ed is making plays, making runs, some of the best basketball that we've maybe seen. Who do you want? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, was, uh, I keep telling him, I keep pushing him to understand that even though he wants to score and he will score, uh, you know, when, uh, when teams put two, three, four guys on him. This is the highest form of respect, and uh, yeah, for him to be able to make that play early, uh, or the early easy pass, uh, you know, it, it, it takes our team to another level, you know, and uh, it makes everyone, gives everyone confidence, you know, we have a lot of guys that can score, a lot of guys that can shoot, uh, big that can score, finish, so, you know, when he does that, our team goes up, and uh, I think he really hurts the defense, and then, you know, eventually, if he keeps doing it consistently, they, they won't be able to put two on him. They're going to have to leave with him, you know, uh, guarding him one on one, or maybe bring in a second guy at some point, but um, they're going to have to, you know, to respect him even more on the end. You said they had to respect us a little bit. Yeah. I mean, that's a... Uh, that's the beauty of this game, you know, team, team, I mean, the class, and then it's only to adjust, you know. they adjust, you know, you know Naz, I don't think he's, he's seen a lot of doubles in his career, maybe in high school or, I don't know, in the league, yet, and uh, tonight they showed him that respect, so, now for him, the next step is now reading that double, and, I thought he did a good job tonight. Yeah, one, one, one week left, four games left in the season. Right? How did it kind of insane? How badly top of mind. I mean, that's something that we want, like, for sure. Um, you know, being able to have home court for the whole, uh, most of the playoffs, you know, uh, it's huge. You know, but uh, what I want more than anything is for us to keep playing the right way, you know, keep using our focus to uh, sharpen our act more and keep getting better, uh, get healthy, you know, and, uh, and then whatever happens, you know, when the player starts, be, be ready. I really, from one defender to another, how do you see Jay kind of embrace that challenge as a defender like the top guys? Good fun. Good fun. Good fun. Good fun. Good fun. Good fun. Watch him every night, that challenge, and you know, and uh, try to get him not to get too frustrated, you know, with with everything. But he's, he's grown so much uh, since last year, you know, being able to uh, um, understand that, you know, you're not gonna stop every every play. You gotta sometimes live with a tough shot. So, yeah. You know, it, it, it's allowed him to not foul as much and be able to be in the game and uh, and have even more impact. So really, uh, very proud of him. You know, he, he, the things that he does are not always recognized throughout the game um, and throughout the season, but I see what he does and, you know, and he's been, uh, he's been consistent. Yeah, when you set, talk about his growth, what other things jump out? Yeah. I think his maturity. Yeah. You know, obviously, he's also offensively, his decision making and, you know, uh, just like sometimes he doesn't touch the ball for a while and then knocks down one, two big shots, uh, you know, in close situations. I think that's that's huge, and I think him being able to do that for us is a 
I mean, it takes yeah. Elgin to another level. <laughs> Understanding that maybe somewhere else you'll be able to shoot the ball a lot more, have the ball a lot more, but. Uh, you know, and I, I understand that sometimes it can be frustrating, but he's been ready, uh, embracing his role. And I can tell you, tell you there's nothing better than winning. You know, like, you know, in your career, you're 22 years old, 23 years old. Sometimes you don't realize the chance that we get, you know, to be in a situation and be a group that can potentially win it all. So, it's been, uh, been great. Uh, I really love it. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.